Alright, magandang magandang hapon po sa lahat, sa lahat po ng grade 10, sa lahat ng mga magulang na kasama ng aming mga grade 10 students. Magandang magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Welcome po sa atin pong another uh, live teaching, okay, for Science 10. Ayan, magandang magandang hapon po sa lahat. Okay, shout out po muna tayo sa ating mga grade 10 learners, okay. From both from uh, Ruspak, Maine, and in Jaika Extension, I just want to greet uh, all the great ten from great ten respect. Okay, thank you for joining uh, uh, with me. Okay, thank you. All right, and then we have from great ten beneficence, uh, great ten brilliance. Good afternoon, sa lahat. Ayan. Okay. Yan, good afternoon po from Grade 10 Advocacy. Yan, Welcome yan. po sa atin po another uh, live pitching. Grade 10 Love, okay, thank you for joining with me. Ayan, obedience. Ayan, yan, salamat po sa inyong lahat. And Grade 10 Perseverance, Compassion. Ayan, ma may mga MDL students po tayo. Ayan, good afternoon po sa inyong lahat. Okay. So uh, this session is already our fourth week, okay, for our quarter two in science ten, okay, and we already uh, almost at the end of our week for our set A, and so I am inviting all of you to uh, be with me, okay, in discussing our lesson for this. Afternoon. Okay, so good afternoon po sa inyong lahat. Ayan. So, before we, we, before we start, let me share you this code. Ayan. Okay. Bright afternoon is giving us a message that there is always a brightening ray of hope in everyone's life. Ayan. So, good afternoon po sa lahat. Yeah, so this is this this is very relevant and important uh, message to all of us this afternoon. Okay, so let's bring hope for uh, everyone's life. Yeah. Okay. So as we continue our discussion, okay, still we are in the force, motion, and energy. Okay, for quarter two, week four. Yeah, nasa week four na po tayo ng ating Quarter two in science. Okay, shout out sa ating 125 live viewers in FB page and in uh, YouTube live via Felixians TV. Good afternoon po sa inyo lahat and still counting. Ayan. Okay, for our code, that is S10FE2G50 and s 10 fe 2 h 52. Okay, because we will be dealing here to learning competencies. Okay? Ayan. So, still, we are under the topic of light, mirror, and the lens. Okay? Dealing with refraction of light in lens. And, of course, we will be discussing also the applications of this using optical instruments. Ayan. Okay, good afternoon po sa lahat. Okay. All right. For our content standard this afternoon, so learners demonstrate an understanding of the image or the images formed by the different types of mirror. This time, we will be focusing now more on lenses. Okay, our learning competencies are, number one, predict the qualitative characteristics, orientation, type, and magnification of images formed by the plane, curved mirror, and of course, lenses. Okay. And the next one is, identify ways in which the properties of mirrors and lenses determine their use in obstacle instrument, for example, in camera and binoculars. Ayan. So those are our learning competencies 
or most essential learning competencies this afternoon. Okay. Now, before we proceed with our uh, topic for this afternoon, let's have some recall or flashback on our uh, last week discussion all about the mirror. Okay. So we have discussed that a uh, mirror can be classified into plane and curved mirrors. But curved mirrors can be further classified into concave and convex mirror. Okay, so using this Venn diagram, okay, let's now compare concave and convex mirror. Ayan. So be ready with your comment, okay? I want to show your comment here in our live chat box. Okay, so let me give you first the similarities for this concave and convex mirror. Ayan. So, of course, these are two classified uh, kinds of mirror because they produce image. That is the first similarity. All right. They follow the property of reflection. Okay. And, of course, by the use of ray diagram, we can determine what would be the possible image that will form. Okay, now it's time for you to give their differences. Okay, so what could be the differences for this? Okay, let's have for the concave. Okay, so uh, I'm going to wait for your responses, for your answer. How are we going to uh, differentiate concave from convex mirror? Yeah. So, okay. So, by the use of uh, LOST, or the one that we have discussed last uh, week, we can differentiate the two. Okay, we will be using uh, again loss here for convex. Okay. So, uh, I'm going to have now the responses according to Charis Uy, concave, produce real image. Convex produce virtual images. Okay, thank you for your response, Charis. Okay, Raven Fernandez, concave away from the light source. Okay, we know na Castillo says concave produce real, convex virtual image. Okay. So for Tracy Rain Kagiwa, concave diverging. Convex, converging. Okay, later on, we will going to discuss that uh, when we talk about lens. Okay, thank you. Concave real image, convex virtual image. Okay, so thank you for your responses. Okay, for concave, of course, the location can be varied. Depends on the position of the object. Okay, so when we, de when we deal of the image formed. Of course, in concave, it may produce an inverted image. The size of the image can be smaller than the object, okay? And the, the image that will likely form is a real image. However, for convex, again, so the location may vary also, depends on the location of the uh, object, okay? And for the orientation, yan. So the image could be upright or erect. Ayan. So uh, the same uh, answer has been given by the Grayton learners. Okay. Ayan. Thank you, Dania Jane Basigsik. Sabi niya, upright for convex. Okay, tama. Okay. And then the size of the image could be smaller or bigger than the object. Okay. And the type of image that will likely form is, of course, a virtual image. Ayan, very good for a well uh, recap of our lesson last Monday. Okay, thank you for all the responses. All right. Okay, now, what are the examples of this? Okay, so concave and convex have the following examples. I know that you are familiar with these examples because they are uh, they are common in our surroundings. Ano? So for concave mirrors, oh yeah, so these are the common examples. Okay, let's have here the, the inverted image produced in a concave mirror. 
Okay? The dentist mirror, ayan, and of course, the flashlight. Okay, however, for the convex, ayan, yung mga nakikita po natin na side mirror ng mga vehicles, okay? Monitoring mirrors in the department store or in a convenience store. Okay, so those are the uh, the uh, examples of the convex mirrors. Okay, so image could likely be enlarged or could likely be smaller than the objects in convex mirror. Yan. Okay, now, what about the lens? Okay, so this would be our topic for this afternoon. What about the lens? How are we going to describe and define the lens? Okay, a lens is the transparent material made of glass or plastic that refracts and focuses light ray on a certain point. Okay, so that is how are we going to define the lens? Now, lens can be also classified into two. We have the convex lens, or also known as the converging lens. Yan. And of course, the concave lens or tinatawag din natin na diverging lens. Okay. Now, how do they look like? Ayan. So, this is the illustration okay, of the converging lens, also known as the convex lens, and the concave lens or also known as the diverging lens. So, you see that there is already the behavior of the uh, ray of light. Okay, so there is already refraction of light present here. If in mirror, we follow the property of reflection, in lens, we follow the property of refraction. Okay, now, speaking of refraction, what is all about refraction? Ayan. So when we talk of refraction, it is the bending of the light rays when passed obliquely from one medium to another. Okay, so there is already uh, a vary of medium involved here. So again, refraction is the bending of light rays when passes obliquely from one medium to another. Okay, so, ayan. So you are very much familiar with this illustration that you have seen on the screen. Okay, so uh, you see here that light rays bend Okay, as it passes from one medium to another medium. So you may see here that the object is somehow crook, okay, or, or bent, okay, due to the uh, differences in the medium. Okay, so what you've seen here in the pencil, inside a glass filled with water, as well as the spoon inside the uh, glass, uh, filled with water also, okay? And even when we are doing fishing, okay, it is as if we are looking at the uh, at the fish, okay, in the water, but definitely there is certain direction or a certain location of the, of the image. And then, of course, the refraction or the bending of white light, okay, to form the hoji bib, okay, or the separation of spectrum okay in the white light are all examples of refraction okay as we go along and continue yeah so in our illustration or in our diagram okay if we will the compare that to reflection okay sabi natin sa reflection uh, angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection Okay, this time in, in, in refraction, since there is bending of light rays, there is already difference between the angle of incidence or the uh, incident angle, okay, versus the angle of refraction, okay, since they vary in medium. Yeah, so it might be that angle of incidence is not the same or not congruent. To the angle of refraction depends on the medium where the light rays passes through. Ayan. So makikita nyo sa ating illustration dito na mas malaki ang angle of incidence dito, mas maliit naman sa angle of refraction. By the way, in refraction, 
we we now called it as refracted rays. Okay, so this incident ray, okay, and the refracted rays are very very important when we deal later on in ray diagramming. Okay, so magre ray diagram ulit po tayo mga grade ten. Okay, to determine and describe uh, what kind of image would likely form. Okay, in lens. Okay. So let's continue. Ayan. Okay. So first, we have here the convex lens. Ayan, nakikita nyo sa ating diagram. Ano? Uh, there are two convex lenses that were being put okay, together. Okay, something like this. Ayan, two convex lens po yan. Okay. So uh, it is actually uh, somehow two convex mirror that has been put together to form a lens. Now, how are we going to describe the convex lens? Okay. So, we can say that the convex lens is thicker in the center than the edge. Okay. So, that is one description of this convex lens. Yeah. It forms real and virtual images depending on the position of the object. O, pwedeng dalawa ang image na ma-produce ni convex lens. Pwedeng real, pwedeng virtual. Depende po yan sa position ng kanyang object. Okay, later on, we're going to find out. Okay, and on the third uh, description is, it is also called as converging lens. O, tingnan nyo, convex lens can be known as converging lens because the light that passes through tends to meet or converge at a particular point, which is called the focus. Ayan. So, meron daw certain point na magkakaroon ng intersection or conversion or converge rather doon sa isang point na tinatawag natin na focus. Ayan. So, yan yung uh, pangatlong definition natin ng convex lens. Okay. Okay, shout out muna tayo dyan sa mga grade Ten, ayan. Okay, Shane, uh, Kerry Labrador, ayan. At uh, uh, Hena Elisha Trillias of Great Ten Perseverance, okay, all the way from Jaika Extension. Edsel Sumbad from Great Ten Modesty, ayan. Thank you, thank you so much for joining. And I would like also to thank the Great Ten Science Teachers for uh, sharing this link for their students. Thank you also sa inyo po. Okay, so that's all about the convex lens. Okay, let's now move to... Ayan, okay. Of course, to make convex lens, meron tayo tatawaging concave lens. Ayan, so ito naman, dalawang concave mirror na pinagsama din. Okay, and you form here, thicker at the edge, but thinner in the center. So it means meron siyang inward groove towards to the center. Okay? That is the concave lens. Okay? Next, it definitely forms an upright and reduced image. Okay? So ganyan yung image na produce ni concave lens. Okay? Upright and reduced image. Tignan natin mamaya kung anong itsura niya ano, sa ating ray diagram. Okay? Next, it can be also called as diverging lens because the light that passes through tends to diverge at a focal point. Ayan. So, kakalat daw okay, yung uh, light na magpa-pass through. But definitely, there will be uh, some point of intersection kasi dahil yon sa refracted rays. Ayan. Mamaya, tignan po natin. Ano? Okay. Next. Ayan. Now, in ray diagramming, okay, in lens, we also follow these rules in ray diagramming. But of course, we need to get familiar first with the different parts. Okay? So, let's have here, ayan, meron pa rin tayong tinatawag na principal axis. Ayan. So, that is the line where you can find the focus. Okay? By the way, uh, ang focus natin dito, hindi lang dalawa, pwede ring uh, apat natatawagin natin 2F. 
Okay? Yan. So, mer of course, meron tayong convex lens. Okay? So, ito yung example natin. Okay? Of course, meron pa rin tayong vertex. Ayan. May vertex pa rin tayong tatawagin kung saan siya yung nasa gitna or the middle point of the lens. Ayan. And of course, we have here the focus. May focus tayo sa kaliwa at may focus din tayo sa kanan. Ayan. So, those are the main parts of the uh, lens as we determine the image that would like be formed here. Ayan. Okay. Now, let's begin. Okay. So, in describing the image formed using the lenses, we still have to use what we call the loss. Okay. So, recall natin ano ba tong loss. Diba? So, we have here the location of the image. Ayan. Of course, the orientation of the image, whether it is inverted or upright. Ayan. Size of the image, whether the image is smaller, enlarged, or diminished. Okay? Than the object itself. And of course, the type of image form, which could be virtual or real. Ayan. So, ito ulit ang gagamitin mamaya natin sa pagde-describe ng image form. Okay? Ayan. Ayan. So, let's start na sa ating uh, uh, example kung paano tayo mag-ray diagram gamit ang convex lens. Okay. I want you to listen very well because I think this will be used for your performance task this week. Okay? And I hope this will help you a lot. Okay? Now, the same as true with the mirror, the lenses uh, ray diagramming also follows the principal rays rule. May mga rule pa rin po tayong susundan dito. Okay? So let's start first with our first rule. Okay, uh, let's say, for example, this would be the object. Okay, this would be our object to be used in finding the image. Ayan. Okay, our first rule is the PF ray. Ayan. It is a ray of light parallel to the principal axis is refracted passing through the focus. So, ano kaya siya? Paano kaya siya i-illustrate dito? Okay, so let's have it. Ayan. So, a parallel ray okay, to the principal axis or a ray that of light that is parallel to the principal axis tends to refract passing through the focus. Ayan. Saan kaya siya pupunta? Ayun. Okay. So, nag-refract daw siya papunta doon sa focus. Okay. Sa kabila. Okay. So, you may extend it. Okay. Uh, depende sa inyong gusto. You may use pencil when you are about to draw. Okay? Your, uh, your race. Okay? Next, our second ray would be the FP ray. So, this would be a ray of light that passes through the focus in front of the lens is refracted parallel to the principal axis. Okay? So, that would be our second ray. So, ano kaya ang ano niya? Ano kaya ang kanyang uh, tsura? Ayun. Okay. So, from the head of the object down to the focus. Ayan. Okay. It hits the lens, but it will refract parallel to the principal axis. Let us see. Ayan. So, that's how the second ray looks like. Okay. So, it creates a parallel line to the uh, parallel lines with the principal axis yeah because of it because of refraction okay next our third ray ito tatlo na lang yung ray natin di ba nung sa mirror apat ito tatlo okay a ray of light passing through the vertex continue to travel on the same direction. Ayan. So you may uh, find out that from the head of the object, the ray of light passes through the vertex. Okay? And continue to travel at the same direction. Okay? So how does it look like? Ayun. Okay. So you have already formed the third ray. And you may already see that there is already an intersection. Diba? Meron na kaagad intersection. Ayan. So, 
ano kaya ang itsura ng, uh, ng image na na-form dito sa ating gray diagram? Ayun! Okay, okay. So, get ready. Get ready, grade 10. Okay, I want you to answer this. Uh, describe the given uh, image formed here in our convex lens using loss. Where can we find the image? Okay, I want to I wanna hear from your answer here in the chat box. I want to see your answer. Where is the location? Okay, of the image. Ayan. So let us see. Uh, I just have to wait for the answers for of the grade 10. Okay, so Carla Joy de la Cruz says it is beyond the focus. Okay, thank you for your answer. Okay, beyond F. Okay, Julia Peter Robinson, away from the second focus. Okay, thank you, Mia Branzuela. Thank you. Yan, beyond F. Okay, let us see if the answer is correct. Ayan. So, it is beyond the focus. Okay, it is far from the focus. Now, what would be the orientation of the image? Is it inverted? Is it upright or erect? Something like that. Okay, what's the answer? Okay. I want to see the answer of the grade 10. What would be the orientation? It's very evident that the image is inverted. Okay, Glynis Lapus, Angel Jasmine Malbas. Thank you for your answer. So inverted po. Ayan. Ayan. Okay, now what could be the size of the image as you compare it to the object? How are you going to compare it to the object? Okay. Let us see. Ayan. Okay, what would be the answer of the grade 10? What would be the size of the image? Okay, yes. The answer is bigger. Okay, or enlarged. Bigger than the Object. Ayan. So that's uh, Paula Clarito, Shira Glaze Mendoza, uh, Aishan Lepalem. Ayan. Thank you for your responses. And large, bigger. Okay. Bigger than the object. Now, if it's bigger than the object and inverted, what type of image is formed? Okay. Dalawa lang yan. Is it real or is it virtual image? Okay. Is it real? Or is it virtual image? Ayan. So let me let me see. Let me see the answer of the grade 10. Okay. Ayon. Okay. Carla Joy de la Cruz says it is e real image. GNBN, it is real image. Okay. Rose Ann Montojo. Ayan. Real image. Raven Flores, real image. Okay. Thank you so much. Your answers. Real image is correct. Okay, very good. Very good. Ayan, nakakasunod po ang lahat. Ano? So that's how are we going to follow. Those are the principal rays that we're going to follow in ray diagramming uh, the image formed in a convex lens. Ayan. Okay, thank you for all the responses. Ayan. Okay, let's continue. How about in con concave lens? Okay. Paano naman kaya yung image na mag-perform sa concave lens? Okay. Let us see. O, dito, meron na tayong tatawaging uh, two uh, points in two sides. Okay. Meron na tayong 2F. Okay. Yan. So, tingnan natin ano ba ang klase ng image na mag-perform gamit ang concave lens. Okay. Still, we need to follow the principal rays para guided po kayong lahat. Grade 10. Ano? Okay. So, our first is, yan, let us say that the object is found here at the 2F. Okay? So, let us determine where is the location, okay, the orientation, the size, and the type of image that would likely form. Okay? Our first ray would be, ayan, the PF ray, okay, a ray of light parallel to the principal axis is refracted passing through the focus in front of the lens. Okay, 
How does it look like? Ayan. How does it look like? Ayun. Okay. So, it will just create first a ray of light parallel to the principal axis and then it will refract. It will refract. Where is where is that? Ayun. Kasi sabi natin sa concave lens, it is a diverging lens. Okay? Tama po ba? So, since it refract, okay, on the other side, therefore, it will create an extension that will pass through the focus. Ayan. Okay. So, kailangan dumaan pa rin siya sa focus. Okay? So, yan, yan yung extension ng refracted ray. Okay? Second, the F ray. Ayan. A ray of light passing through the focus behind the lens is refracted parallel to the principal axis. Ayan. So, the same as true, uh, there will be uh, a light that will pass through okay, the focus and then it will refract, refract parallel to the principal axis. Ayan. So, how does it look like? Ayun. Okay. So, uh, from the head of the object again, it will pass through the lens, okay? But then again, it will refract, okay? Parallel to the principal axis, definitely it will create an extension, okay? So, there will be an extension of the refracted ray. Ayan, okay. And our third ray would be the V-ray. Okay, so this time, the ray of light passing through the vertex continue to travel on the same direction. Okay, so we will going to draw again a ray that will pass through the vertex. Okay, and how does it look like? Ayan. Okay, so it passes through the vertex, but it intersects. Okay with the extensions of the refracted rays of the two rays that were mentioned earlier. Okay. So you may see that the rays of light had been refracted, okay, and diverge. Okay. But there is already an intersecting point of the refracted rays. Okay. Our image uh, formed here now is where? Saan kaya natin makikita ang ating image? Saan kaya natin makikita siya? Ayun, ang ating image. Okay. So, there you have the image. Okay, come again. Grade 10. How are we going to describe the image formed in a concave lens? Okay. Uh, location. Where is the location of the image? Okay. I want to see uh, responses from the grade 10. Where is the location of the image? Okay. Ayan. So, responses are waving. Close to the focus, according to Rich Miranda. At the center of the focus and the vertex, at exactly the 2F. Between the focus and the vertex. Okay, let us see if the answer is correct. Ayun. Okay, the image is formed between the focus and the vertex. Okay, near to the focus. Ayan. Okay, our orientation would be, anong ating orientation? Is it inverted or is it upright? Okay. So let us see. Let's now know where, uh, what is the orientation? Okay, it is... Ayan, upright according to Paula Clarito, Rose Ann Montojo, Maria Arneline Raguro. Ayan, upright. Thank you for your responses. Ayan. Or erect. Okay, next. Okay, the size of the image is smaller than the object. So, kitang-kita naman po natin na mas maliit po siya compared po sa ating uh, object. Okay, and of course, the type of image, okay, I want to see what type of image would likely form. Is it virtual or is it real image? Okay, ayan, sabi ni Leisa, Leila Pasa, smaller. Ayan, thank you. 
Iverson Cavite, smaller. Raven Flores, Angel Malbas, smaller po. Okay, smaller than the object. Ayan, tama po yung mga sagot po natin. Okay, now I want to know the, the type of image. Okay, okay, Nicole Margaret Aurel, it's virtual. Ayan, Jessie, is it, uh, it is virtual. Okay, thank you for your the responses. Ayan, so you already formed a virtual image. Okay, so uh, these are the rules, okay, of the ray diagramming as you form and create the image formed both in the convex lens and in concave lens. I hope you, I hope this uh, method, okay, or strategy will help you as you perform your performance task. Okay, later on, I will be discussing them one by one. Okay, as we continue, yan. So, let's now move to the different optical instruments. Okay, so, these optical instruments, okay, have mirrors and lenses. Okay, mirrors are part of our everyday life. Diba? Pagising pa lang natin sa umaga, harap na kaagad tayo sa salamin to see our image, okay? Whether we are feeling good or feeling feeling not good, okay? So we tend to see ourselves in front of the mirror. But mirror is very, very important, especially in the vehicles, especially to the drivers, because this would help the driver to see uh, image, okay, in the late, Okay, of the road behind the uh, behind the the vehicle. Okay, so makikita natin kung ano ng mga uh, image or object na sa likuran ng sasakyan. Okay, so gumagamit po tayo jan ng convex lens, di ba? Sa ating mga side mirrors, ayan. Sa ating mga uh, sa ating uh, mirrors. Okay, on top of the vehicle. Okay, do sa ating uh, Ayan, sa ating uh, side mirror. Okay. While driving, we use different shape mirrors to check the position of the vehicle on the next lane. Ayan. So, it is very important. Okay. Next. Ayan. We also use mirror, okay, for safety and security purposes. Okay. So, uh, whether it is outdoor or indoor, okay, in a convenience store, in a department store, uh, we tend to see different kinds of mirror in this area, okay. Of course, to, to see most of the area and its visibility. Okay, syempre, para maiwasan natin yung mga theft, okay, kaya naglalagay ng mga ganyang klase ng mirror. Okay, now, in a curved mirror, like the concave, they are very much used in ophthalmoscope. Okay? So, pag sinabi natin ophthalmoscope, it has something to do with our eye. Okay? So, ito ay ginagamit ng mga ophthalmologists. Okay? The one who are specialists in the eye. Okay? So, this instrument consists of concave mirror with a hole in the center. The doctor focuses through the small hole from the behind the concave mirror while a light beam is directed into the pupil of the patient's eye. Ayan. Okay. So, it's a kind of a concave mirror. Okay. Ayan. So, ito yung sinasabi natin kanina. Okay. Na ophthalmologist. Okay. The doctor used the ophthalmoscope to check the patient's eye because our eye also have lens okay so uh this is also the basis uh whether a patient will have to use an eyeglasses which is an also an example of the lens okay we are able to see because our eyes have lens that produce an image okay so kaya kailangan iniingatan natin ang ating mga mata kasi meron din po yung lens okay Part of our eye is a lens. Okay. Many people use eyeglasses while doing their activities. Okay. Like the magnifying lens, the cameras, 
the microscopes, okay, and of course, the telescopes, okay. Of course, these are optical instruments that is being used with different purposes. Ayan. Images are formed when using these devices following the law of reflection and the law of refraction. Ayan. So, dalawa yung important property na ginagamitan natin sa lens at sa mirror. Those are the reflection and the refraction. Ayan. Okay. So, that's how important our optical instruments are. Okay. Another example or application is the use of the camera. Ayan. The basic element of a camera is a double convex lens that forms real upside down image on an optical sensor, usually a charge couple device in a digital camera. Yan yung mga mahilig gumamit ng mga uh, SLR. Ayan, yan yung loob ng ating mga camera. Ayan. So, uh, the camera, okay, have lens, okay, move either towards or away from the optical sensor. Ayan. So, that's how uh, a camera, okay, uh, that has an, a lens inside of it. Okay. Next. Okay. Okay, as we continue, ayan. Ayun. Okay, another important optical instrument that use the lens or that uses the lenses are the microscope. Ayan, ito mga ito ay introduce sa ating mga grade 7 learners. Okay, the use of the compound microscope. Okay, there there you have it in the microscope. You have to use objective lenses, okay, to identify and determine the image form, okay, under a given specimen or object, okay. So the the basic of this microscope, okay, or the basic of this element of the microscopes are the objective lens and the eyepiece. Okay, so may objective lens po yan at meron ding mga eyepiece lens. Okay, now, what are the image that would likely form using the microscope? It forms a real upside down and enlarged image of the object. Again, it forms a real upside down and enlarged image of the object. Yeah, so that's how important are the microscope. Okay, next, we have here now the refracting telescope. Yeah, the refracting telescope consists of two convex lens that is used, okay, to an image. Okay, the refracting telescope has a large primary lens with a long focal length to gather a lot of light. Ayan. So makikita po natin sa illustration yung example ng refracting telescope. Ayan. So that's how a refracting telescope look like. And of course, meron din tayong tinatawag na reflecting telescope. Okay. So here in reflecting telescope, we use two we use convex lens and two mirrors to make an object appear Bigger, the light is collected by the large concave mirror. Then the parallel rays traveling towards this mirror are reflected and focused to the center point. Ayan. So that's how a reflecting telescope worked on. Ayan. So those are the examples, the use of the different optical instrument that device and use mirrors and lenses. Ayan. So they are very, very important in our daily activity. Especially yung mga uh, estudyante natin dyan, ano, alam ko may mga students tayo na mga naka-eyeglasses. Okay, so eyeglasses is very, very important 
especially uh, in reading, di ba? So ginagamit po natin 'yan sa pagbabasa para mas ma- ma-magnify natin yung ating mga yung letters, di ba? Ng ating mga binabasa. Okay? So uh, and some of us have experienced difficulty in in our sight, okay? So that's the time that the doctor will recommend you to use an eye glasses. So you better see a doctor or specialist that will help you to uh, uh, to treat or cure for your problem in your eye. Yan. Okay. So yeah. So these are the optical instruments. Yeah. Okay, now let's have let's now test your understanding grade 10. Okay? Let's now test your understanding. And I want you to answer the following questions. Ayan. So I want to uh, I want to I want you to prepare uh, for a pen, okay, and a paper to answer the following questions. Okay? So para itong uh, quiz B. Ayan. So, tingnan natin. So, later on, titingnan natin ang mga scores natin. Ano? Okay. So, let's have number one. Okay. Number one, what kind of lens curves inward towards its center? Okay. Again, what kind of lens curves inward towards its center? Is it a convex lens? Is is it B, concave lens? Is it C, mirror? Or is it B, glasses? Yan. So that is my first question. What could be your answer? Okay. Let's wait for the answer of the grade 10. Okay. Ayan. May nagsagot na. Ayan. Maddox Lewis, Princess JC Balanza. Okay, let us see if the answer is correct. Let us see. All right, the answer is letter B, the concave. Okay, thank you. So that uh, correct ang inyong mga sagot. Ayan. Let's have number two. Okay, let's have number two. Okay, for number two question is, what kind of mirror is used in the side mirrors of automobiles and trucks to give the driver a wider area and smaller image of the traffic behind him? Okay, is it a plain mirror? Is it a convex mirror? Is it a concave mirror? Or none of the above? Ayan. So just type in your answer, put the, le- the number and your answer. Okay, para ma-identify po natin. Okay, JP Henova says it's B, convex mirror. Rowella Faye Nieva, it's uh, convex mirror. Let us see. Ayun, very good. So the correct answer is convex mirror. Ayan, tama po ang mga sagot nila. Okay, thank you. Next, let's proceed with number three. Okay, for number three here is what kind of image is formed by a concave lenses? What kind of image is formed by a concave lenses? A. Is it always real? B. Is it always virtual? C. It could be real or virtual. Depends on the distance of the object from the focal point. Or D. Is it could be real or virtual, but always real when the object is placed at the focal point? Ayan, tingnan natin. Ano kayang sagot ng mga grade 10? Okay. Number 3. Let us see. What would be your answer? Concave lens. Huh? Okay. The answer would be... Okay. The answer is letter B. It is always virtual okay remember yung um, uh, image kanina di ba mas maliit kaysa doon sa object di ba okay next for number 4 okay number 4 po tayo okay what could be the question for number 4 ayan what type of image is formed 
by the concave side of the spoon when the object is closer to it. Ayan. Ayan, may mga nagsasagot pa pala ng number three. Okay, the answer is B. Correct. Tama po ang yung sagot. Okay, we are now in uh, number four. Okay, so what type of image is formed by the concave side of the spoon when the object is closer to it? Ayan. Is it A, upright and bigger? Is it B, upside down and bigger? Is it C, upright and smaller? Or D, upside down and smaller? Okay. Write down your number and the answer. So let us, okay, the answer of Benedict Hernandez is A. Okay, some says it's B. So let us see. The answer would be, okay, it is upside down and bigger. Letter B. Ayan. Okay, so grade 10, okay, Angel May Kapana, okay, got the correct answer. Maria Arnelin Raguro, correct, thank you. Chloe De Los Santos, B, ayan, thank you. Next, number five. All right, for number five here, the sun's rays are observed to focus at a point behind the lens. What kind of lens was used? Okay. A, converging lens, B, diverging lens, C, focusing lens, or D, none of the above. Okay. A, converging lens, B, diverging lens, C, focusing lens, or D, none of the above. So what would be your answer here? Number five. Ayan. So let's wait for the answers of the grade 10. Okay, so, ayan. Okay, so uh, the uh, uh, some here says it's letter B, red imperial letter B, angel vernis petalio letter A. Okay, let us see if the answer is, uh, if your answer is correct. Okay, the answer would be. Letter A, it's the converging lens, okay? So it is uh, observed to focus at a point behind a lens, okay? Next, number six. Ayan, number six. Now, what type of lens is used in a magnifying glass? Okay, what type of lens is used in a magnifying glass? A, converging lens, B, diverging lens, C, focusing lens, or D, none of the above. Okay, ano kaya ang lens na ginagamit sa isang magnifying glass? Okay. Okay, wanna see the answer? Okay, okay. Nam uh, Charis Uy says it's A. Okay. Okay, so the answer would be, okay, it's the converging lens. Okay, so that's uh, that's a kind of lens being used by the magnifying glass. Okay, letter A. And, um, a majority of the grade and answer it correctly. Thank you. Ayan. Okay, next for number seven. Okay, number seven. Convex lenses are used in blank. A, magnifying smaller objects. B, in camera. C, in microscopes. Or D, all of the above. Okay. Again, convex lenses are used in A, magnifying smaller objects. B, in camera. C, in microscope. Or D, all of the above. Okay. What would be your answer for number seven? Okay. Yan. So the answers of the grade 10. Okay. Paula Clarito says it's D. Julian Peter Robinson, it's D. All of the above. Let us reveal the answer. Okay. We know na Castillo. Ira Jean Formentera. Okay. The answer is letter D. All of the above. Yan. Thank you for all the responses. Okay. Heading on. 
three more questions. Let's have number eight. Okay, this would be our question for number eight. A car's headlight uses blank. A car's headlight uses blank. Is it a plain mirror? B, convex mirror? C, concave mirror? Or D, none of the above? Okay. A car's headlight uses a plain mirror, B, convex mirror, C, concave mirror, or D, none of the above? Okay, let us see. What's your answer? So the answer would be, yeah, it's a convex mirror. Yeah. Okay. Next, for number nine. Ayan. Okay. How will you describe an image form in the microscope? Okay. How will you describe an image form in the microscope? A, virtual upside down and enlarged image. B, virtual upright and smaller image. C, real upside down and enlarged image. Or D, real upright and smaller image. Again, how will you describe an image formed in the microscope? Okay, what would be your answer? Okay, Rose Anmontol says it's C. Okay, Ange Angeline of Perseverance says it's C. Eloisa Oxima says it's C. Let us find the answer. Okay, so the answer, it is real, upside down, and enlarged image. Very good for your answer. Okay, next, number 10. And for number 10, which of the following describes a convex lens? Ano daw dito ang nadi-describe sa convex lens? A, it is also known as diverging lens. B, it, is, it forms real and virtual image. Depends on the object's position. C, it forms an upright and reduced image. Or D, it is thicker at the edge and thinner at the center. Okay, so what would be your answer here? Okay, so which of the following describes a convex lens? Number 10. Okay, number 10. Raven Flores says it's B. Ayan, Red Imperial says it's B. Ian Agustin, it's B. Okay. Aishan Lefalem, it's B. Okay. Thank you. So our answer would be... Ayan. So it forms real and virtual image depends on the position. Ayan. So that is our answer for number 10. Okay. Let's, uh, let's give a virtual clap to all grade 10 learners who have participated and joined to answer all the questions here. So I want you to comment there. What is your score out of 10? Let us see. Ano po ang inyong mga score? Tingnan natin. Be honest, ha? Grade 10. Tingnan natin kung ano mga scores ninyo. Ayan. Virtual club sa inyong lahat. Sa mga nag-participate. Ayan. Mia. Ayan. Palakpak. Okay. Ayan. Okay, so Charis says it's 8 over 10. Very good, Charis. Ayan. Okay. Rich uh, Miranda says it's 9 over 10. Paula, 7 over 10. Matthew, 8 over 10. Gian Bien, thank you for all the uh, responses. Thank you. Charmaine K. Chu, 7 over 10. Ayan. Very, very good po. Sa inyong lahat. Great. Ten. Okay. Now, as we end up our uh, uh, session for this afternoon, I want you to be reminded of the following uh, weekly home learning plan for week four, okay, for this day, Monday, December 6, 2021. You will be doing a learning task on page 28, okay? This is already in your separate sheet, okay, of paper, okay? It is also found in your self-learning module. Okay, so how does it look like? Ayan, ito po siya. Okay, so you will be doing the performance task of grade diagramming kanina. 
po nakinig po maigi. So ganyan po ang ating uh, pe-perform po ninyo iyan. Okay? And then after that, for Tuesday, December 7, you will be doing learning task 3 on page 29. Ayan. Ito naman ngayon siya. You will going to describe and complete the table, okay, of the images formed by the convex lens and the concave lens. Ayan. So, ayan ang inyong gagawin para sa Tuesday. Okay, on Wednesday, that is December 8, ito naman po ang gagawain ninyo. Okay, so you will be uh, classifying the examples whether it is reflection or refraction. Okay, so all you have to do there is go back and read uh, of the previous uh, pages of the activity of the uh, of the lesson related to this activity. Ayan. So learning task number one on page thirty three. And on Thursday, December nine, you will be doing and answering written works number four. Okay. So I hope uh, everything is clear. I hope you understand our discussion this afternoon. Okay? And be ready to submit all your outputs for the MDL students. Kindly staple all your outputs. Okay? Write the name of your teacher and the subject. Okay? And be ready to submit that on the schedule uh, given. And for the online distance learning students, Kindly submit it on time to your respective Google Classroom. Okay, so thank you. Thank you so much for joining. Okay, so our reference would be Science 10 of Self-Learning Module, pages 26 to 34. Okay, so with that, ayan, so I want to greet every one of you. Advance, Merry, Merry Christmas. Okay. Okay, to all of you, okay, and of course, uh, a prosperous and happy new year to each and every one. Okay, saying here, the little child, okay, let's celebrate his presence in our life. He is the reason for the season, okay, and uh, uh, let's put Christ in our hearts forever and ever. Okay, with that. This has been your teacher, Sir Rowell of Grade 10 Science, saying thank you and take care and goodbye, everyone.